Welcome to this uh, SSH network webinar series. So this is our first uh, webinar. So an SSH, that's the, the Social Sciences and Humanities Network, uh, which is also related uh, to IFPES. So the webinar series is organized by uh, myself and uh, Maria Stenseke and Marla Emery. Uh, and we're also the organizers of the SSH uh, network. OK, so just, uh, just very shortly, so the aims of the SSH network is to enhance the contributions of the social sciences and humanities in IPES. So this is something that we, we saw a need for, and it's also been pointed out in internal and external reviews of IPES. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a number of different ways we are working uh, towards this uh, aim. So uh, by engaging a broader spectrum of SSH disciplines and approaches in IPES, so more diversity uh, on the SSH side, attracting more SSH expert nominations for IPES assessments, facilitating other engagements with IPES from SSH scholars, uh, as well as improving the integration of SSH knowledge and perspectives within IPES structures, processes and outputs. Uh, and so this is not an exhaustive list and it will uh, develop over time, but so, so mostly just to give you an impression of, uh, of what we are focusing mostly on uh, today. And just very shortly also about the process so far for this SSH network. Uh, so formally, uh, it started by a proposal by uh, Maria, Marla and myself to create a network aiming to enhance SSH contributions to IPES back in 2019. And then the IPES Multidisciplinary Expert Panel or the MEP and Bureau endorsed the idea and it was decided to establish a pilot on, on this uh, network. And after that, we had a dialogue with the IPES Secretariat on how to situate ourselves within the IPES organizational structure. And uh, in 2020, we've had a strategy development phase, including uh, two workshops. Uh, and now, in 2021, we have been established as a network on the open-ended network of IPES stakeholders, or uh, short uh, ONET. So the, the, the definition of stakeholders here is, is a bit uh, different from what, what you usually think about, but I, I won't get uh, into that. And now we have this uh, seminar series and also other activities uh, coming up. And so we also wanted to, to draw your attention to a, a report that we made to the IPES 8 plenary now in June, uh, which is a report on the piloting and establishment of the SSH network. And it's included in the information document on capacity building uh, for this uh, IPES 8 plenary. And it uh, has now been made available for the plenary delegates of the member states for the preparatory meeting for IPES 8. So it's going to be interesting to see if we get any attention or, or comments to this uh, report from the plenary. Uh, so the report, just very shortly, uh, it outlines the mandate of the network, the rationale behind it and the process so far. And also some topics we've been discussing on this workshop, so uh, possibilities and challenges uh, for incorporating SSH in IPES related to IPES framings and concepts, IPES structure and processes, as well as how to reach out to more SSH scholars, and also uh, potential functions and organization of the SSH network. So there's quite a lot uh, of the background for the network in this report. So if you're interested in that, you, you can, uh, that's the place to go to. And uh, in, a link to this uh, report is accessible on our web page, which the address you can see here, it's also posted in the chat. So, uh, so, so that's the place to go if you, if you want to look into that. Uh, and finally, uh, we also wanted to acknowledge the support that we have received to this SSH network. So firstly, by the IPES Technical Support Unit on Capacity Building. Uh, so they've helped us quite a lot in this uh, establishing phase. Uh, and uh, also the open-ended network of IPES stakeholders, where we are now um, 
situated and we have the web page there and so on. Uh, we are also getting support for communication. Uh, we also had support from the Norwegian Institute for Nature Research or NINA, where I myself uh, is uh, affiliated. Uh, among other things, NINA hosted the two workshops that I mentioned. And we also had financial support from the Norwegian Ministry of Climate and Environment and uh, the Norwegian Research Council. 